simplify irrational numbers again. So one way we could do is we could just raise each one to the seventh power. And then we see those two again, that conjugates. Conjugates means one is a plus b, another one is a minus b, and we call those conjugates. And when we do that, we get a squared minus b squared become the difference of two squares. And if one is a square root, we just have a square root. So that becomes a squared minus b, right? So those are two. We can see one is half plus radical 13 over 2, and this one is a half minus radical 13 over 2. So that conjugates. Um, so accepting the we just keep raising to calculate to the exponents, or we could use a substitution method. So let's do the algebra first. So we call this term A, this is a one plus square root 13 over two, and then we call this one B, right? Then we say A plus B because that conjugates. In this case, maybe I don't use X, um, A, A and B to confuse you because I just use the A and B for the formula. Let's call this M and let's call this M. Let's call this n. Then we get a relationship of n plus n that equals to one plus square root of 13 divided by two plus one minus the square root of 13 divided by two. You see the irrational part being canceled, right? Because one is positive, one is negative, that adds up to be zero. So we just get half plus half, we get a one, which is a beautiful value. So the two conjugates adds up to be one. Now if we multiply them, if we do mod n times n, we have, let's write this way, half plus radical 13 over two, multiplied by half minus radical 13 over two. In this case, we see we have a plus b times a minus b form. So get the first we get the first one square, half square, which is a quarter, minus the second one square, which is the square root of 13 square, which is 13, and the denominator is also 4. So we have 1 minus 13 divided by 4. So that's negative 12 divided by 4, which is negative 3. You see, we have these beautiful values of m plus n and m times n. Then we can use this relationship, right? So let's see, a cube. Let's just, so what do we need to find? Basically, we need to find m raised by 7 plus n raised by 7. That's our goal. So let's, because we need to raise to the seventh power, right? Let's think about, oops, n cube plus n cube, sum of two cubes, then multiply by m to the fourth plus n to the fourth power. And this will give us m raised by seven, right? We multiply those two plus n raised by seven, multiply those two, then multiply those two, that's n three, m raised by four, then plus multiplying those two, that's n three, n raised by four. Okay. So our goal is this, let me change my color. Our goal is to find m raised by seven plus n raised by seven. Well, let's rewrite this. So let's write as m raised by seven plus n raised by seven. So that equals to m raised by three plus n raised by three times m raised by four plus n raised by four. Minus Minus, see these two have a common factors of n cube and m cube, right? Then we have m plus n. 
So we can factor those two terms, we can factor like this. Because we know m plus n, which is a one, where the value, the value of this one is one. And the n times m, so this is n times m cube, or plus is minus, is a minus. Or when n times n is negative three, so get negative three cube. Negative three cubes is negative 27. Negative negative 27 is a positive 27. So at least that part is simplified. But then, so this part just, so this part we have just calculated. So the rest is just, we have to calculate this, we have to calculate this. Well, let's ca calculate the sum of two cubes. So m cubed plus n cubed, remember the formula? Is m plus n times m squared minus m times n plus n squared, okay? So that's this. Then again, m plus n is one. One in factor form doesn't contribute anything. Then we have this. So how do we rewrite this one? This one we can write as m squared minus two. Actually, we want to do plus because we know m plus n equals one. So plus m n plus n squared minus three m n. Right? Because the positive two m and minus three m and we still get a negative m and but this give us a perfect square. This give us m plus n square. Then minus three times m n. Let me change my color again. M plus n is one. One square is one. Minus three times m n is a negative three. Right? That becomes one plus nine which is a 10. So now we have 27, we have this 10. So let's put on the side. We have 10 plus 27. So the next, oh no, hold on, we cannot do this. Because 10 is this guy, 10 is this one. We have to multiply by m raised by four plus n raised by four. So now we need to calculate. So basically we get two numbers. We get plus 27, we get a 10 multiplied by some number. So which is m raised by four plus n raised by four. So how do we calculate this? Let me change my color again. That's, we can write that one as m squared plus n squared squared. Well, this will give us m raised by four plus two m squared n squared plus n raised by four. So we need to minus two m squared n squared. And also this one can be factored, can be calculated. So that's a negative three squared. Well, negative three squared is a nine. Nine times negative two get negative 18. So something subtract. 18. Now we need to calculate m squared plus n squared. So m squared plus n squared. That can be written as m plus n squared minus 2mn. Right? Because m plus n parenthesis squared is m squared plus 2mn plus n squared. The m plus n square is one square again, minus two times m n is negative three again. So we get a one plus six, which is seven. Okay. okay, now let's put this all together. So m square plus n square is a seven. So we get a seven square. 7 squared minus 18, which is a 49 minus 18. We get a 31. So, so m raised by 4 plus n raised by 4, that's 31. That's 31. So let's go back. So we have 10 
times 31 plus 27. 10 times 31, this is 310. Plus 27, this is 337. Okay, so the end solution is a 337. So let's go back a little bit. Because we just calculated this in different way. So 337. So one way you could just raise this one by square, right? Then raise by four. Then you multiply this one with a, it's a square term with it's a four term, raise by four term to get raised by seven. Those two only differ in the middle term in the irrational numbers. So but I did it in another way. I did is I use the algebraic formulas. Right, I use algebraic formulas, so I use a substitution. I say I call this one M, I call this one N. Then I calculated M plus N because they are conjugates. M plus N, I get a one, I get the beautiful value. And M times N, I also get a beautiful value. So basically I'm using these two values to do the rest. So raised by three, raised by four, then in the end, raised by seven. But with this, it's a lot of calculations. So you have to be careful of every step. If it's a plus, if it's a minus, or if it's a multiplication. Just have to be careful with that.